So, we need the clap thing? Yeah. We need a gong. I want a gong. I want to hit something. And say, so, so oh, this is the first episode of Ace Producer versus Geek YouTuber. And uh, today we're going to get to know Ace Man uh, and find out a bit about uh, his very different perspective on video making to most of the people I know, you know, over enthusiastic, hyper, hyperactive enthusiasts uh, versus a guy who actually knows what he's doing. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to get to find out what Ace does. Hey, we're here. <laughs> we were just dancing. There's no music, and we were dancing like white men. It was, it was great. yeah, it was great. It was the little Hiko doll dancing around in front. I wish, I wish. Well, it'll be one day. It'll be there. You have to imagine it there now, and it looks awesome. No, it really was. You think that it's all just an animation that Hiko's got? Actually, there is a real guy that follows him around. He's a little samurai character with a big head. So I should have mentioned I'm known since high school, and he takes a lot of medication for different things. And it helps with the creativity and stuff. I saw him. <laughs> he was real. He was real. <laughs> so, uh, okay. who, who, who the hell are you? Okay. Well, first of all, um, <laughs> this name Ace. We we got to we got to we got to put ask. this. His name is Ace. That's all you need to know. He used to be at high school. We used to. And when I came to Japan, it was it became a very easy way. Yeah. When someone asked my name, and I'd say my name's Alistair, and they'd go Ari 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 Ari, and I'd just say. Ace or Ducky, they job good. Just uh, call me Ace. Ellis, I'm good up to Ellis, but the air part is always like, is it, you know, I'm not, I've never been 100% comfortable Pe with the air part. People always tease me about that. The reason I say <laughs> it that way is because that's the way it's spelt. And I'm trying, Alistair like, is like a name, chair. Alistair is a name that can be spelled about 50 different ways. So yeah. I always just say Alistair, that way people can see how it's spelt. But anyway. So that's my name. So he's Ace. We just spent this, half this episode talking about my name. It's important. It's important. <laughs> so you've done a lot of interesting stuff in the past. But for a start, we've known each other since high school in New yeah. Zealand. So it's going to be cool to do a whole series. And yeah. Well, I've lost my New Zealand. And so have you. More. We, we don't really have real New Zealand accents anymore. They everyone disappear, in, don't they? Everyone in New Zealand is going to be watching saying, they're not New Zealanders. They don't sound like us. We really are New Zealanders. Yeah. I was, I was, it's totally bro. too, hey, hey, Yeah, hey, bro. Cheers, cheers, hey, bro. We're going to, it's going to be choice. We're going to record lots oh, of too meke. sweet stuff. Too meke. Yeah. Kapai, we're going to rock this, eh? Just don't hang around for when we do the hongi thing. No. That's going to be ugly. It's uncomfortable. I, 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 that's when I'll start raising my hand for uncomfortable. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, uh, so you were you were always, I mean, at uni and stuff, you went off and you studied the, the media and journalism, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so I, I went and did mass communications, majored in journalism yeah. um, at university, and um, and I worked in newspapers, um, I worked at the... Magazines? At, at, <laughs> I worked at a, a, a particular magazine in Australia, in Sydney, I worked at the Sydney Morning Herald in Sydney as well, and the Australian Same Associated thing. Press, but everyone always wants to talk about the magazine. The magazine. He worked for a magazine. <laughs> yeah. Worked for a magazine of ill repute. Yeah. And um, then I went up to Singapore, and yeah. I, I swapped the ill repute for, for magazines. <laughs> for Singapore. <laughs> what kind of an extreme can there be from working from an Australian magazine of ill repute to going to Singapore? I mean, it's like, it's like going to a monastery. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it went even worse, because not only did I go to Singapore, but I went to work with a group of magazines who published magazines about the printing industry. Oh. So I went and took photos of printing presses and wrote about how you push a green button. Well, I, 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 I guess if you burn out on one thing, you might as well go for the opposite extreme, right? Yeah. So, um, so then um, ran a, uh, I ran my own magazines, tourist magazines in, in Singapore. We did them for Bangkok, Hong Kong, Bangkok and Jakarta. Yeah. Um, as part of that, I started uh, designing. So I ran my own creative agency, which then morphed into, I uh, represented an English creative agency, a branding agency in Singapore, setting up their business. Um, we had a lot of big clients from, from England that were setting up offices in Singapore. Yeah. And... Um, Quite frankly, I got very bored with that. I loved the people. I loved. I loved, see a common theme I, emerging. I didn't. <laughs> of course, of boredom. I did not enjoy the the work per se. Yeah. But um, they were they were awesome people, and it was um, it was a great time in my life. But then I left that because I wanted to do exactly what we talk about in Hena Gaijin. 
yeah. which is I wanted to go and do something that I was passionate about. And that thing happened to be TV. You keep on commenting whenever we've been on other people's shows, mm. you keep on commenting about how you remember me doing uh, video editing when we were at university and we yeah. were flatting together. Yeah. And to be perfectly honest, I, that was a time in my life that I'd forgotten a long time ago, but it's always stuck in my head. I mean, I always enjoy doing that. Yeah. But it wasn't necessarily my plan to, to go back, leave the creative agency and go and do that. I just wanted to write because I'm a writer. Yeah. And I ended up writing for TV, um, for doing a show for National Geographic, and it's just gone from there, really. So it went from writing into the production side rather than from video into the production. Yeah, well, I, I, when I left the creative agency, yeah. um, I was nagging uh, a TV producer, yeah. an executive producer who was um, doing a whole lot of stuff, and I said, I really want to write for TV. Yeah. And uh, finally he said, look, write us a couple of proposals. So I did, and um, I think I wrote three, and they all got accepted on some level or, or another. Yeah. And he sort of went, hold on, we haven't had that kind of luck before, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Yeah. But it, they were actually, two of them were false dawns. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, that's the sad truth about the TV market. And we will be talking about that soon as well, about what, what the creative process is for that, because yeah. that's interesting as well. But so yeah, I mean, it started from doing writing, and now today I'm working, um, working mm. doing uh, not just writing, but also producing and also directing yeah. at times as well. And the Henna Gaijin thing came out of, of all of that with the just wanting to go out and do my own thing yeah. and seeing how it would go because I suppose we'll get into it later on with the, the commercial world of television isn't, I mean, it's, it's TV by committee, really. Well, yes, cre creativity by committee. Yes. Uh, and, 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 yeah, when you're a really creative person. So, so this is a frustration that, draw, you know, that I think brings a lot of people onto YouTube because of the complete yeah. an anarchic freedom that you have here. But... Um, so this is the sort of stuff that we want to lead into. Just coming back on the video editing thing, though, the reason I always remember you uh, video editing is that like 15 years after that or 10 years after that, I think the first thing before YouTube existed on Google Video, so before YouTube existed, um, I, t I had a lot of video. So I remember you edited a video of North's North Rugby Sydney. League Club. North, North Sydney, Sydney Rugby huge League. Rugby League fan of North Sydney. Yeah. I don't know anyone else Bears. who supports that team. It's, it's, but... He made this video and was like, it was a really awesome music video of highlight, you know, highlight clip. Yeah. And so I, I started recording the, my own rugby team playing games. And, I, and, and when I'm oh. sitting at the computer, I got some editing software and I did the same thing. I, I made a, a, a music video of highlight clips of my own rugby club. And it occurred to me, this is what Ace was doing 10 years ago on VHS, you know, up at the, yeah. the school. And I was like, uh, oh, this is, a, a, and you know, that, that was probably the first video editing I did in my whole life. And I'd take it into bars and we played it in bars at, at rugby team parties and stuff like that. And it was, you know, a couple of years after that, YouTube started and then I got into the idea of shooting myself. But I, 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 got, I, I remembered you and I remembered you showing that video and thinking, yeah, that's why Personally, good at that. I, I think it's a really great place to start learning mm -hmm. about editing because if you're doing a music video and... If you're interested in sport, then what better kind of music video to do, first of all? Because yeah. if you're going to edit anything, you've got to be interested in it. Well, that's true. Um, the, but the, the other great thing about it is that when you're editing something to music, it's all about timing, and editing is all about timing. Yeah. Um, and it's a great way to actually learn, you know, how things work and how things fit together nicely in, uh, with, with their timing. So, we got, as you can tell, we've got endless stuff to talk about. So what we're going to do, same time uh, next week, uh, here, same place, uh, we're going to be uploading the next episode where we're going to be talking about so many people who saw um, what really matters, Henagaijin, who saw the series on Japan, which you made, and everyone who saw it said, oh my, how did he do that? What did you do? Apart from the fact you obviously had a cameraman and people are going, well, that's just cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from that, everyone was like, was really interested in, 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 okay, so how does a pro, how did you shoot it to make it look so good? So we're going to get all of his secrets. I'm going to tie them to a rack and we're going to get all the secrets out uh, this time next week. And uh, stay tuned. We're going to do more episodes of these and it's going to be good. So hang around. This time next week? Yeah. It's going to be okay. okay. See you later. See you later. Okay. Yeah, so you can pay for the air tickets. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay.